only on Lifestyle. Welcome back to Technology Behind Business. Well, we all know the purpose of an ATM is to dispense cash, but one UK company is turning that idea on its head, launching what they call cashless ATMs. These do everything a normal ATM can do, but instead of giving out cash, it prints a voucher, which customers can then exchange for cash at a shop counter. So why do they think this is a better option than a regular ATM? And what's in it for the banks and the end customers? Well, joining me now to answer those questions from our Sydney CBD studio is Steve Hensley, the VP of Sales for KAL. Steve, welcome to Technology Behind Business this afternoon. Now, this to me is a very intriguing idea. Can you summarize for us how a cashless ATM works? Well, yes, I can. It is as you described. So the customer goes up to the RTM, they do all the ATM transactions that they would do at an ATM. The big difference is, number one, it's in a merchant location, as you described. But number two, instead of receiving cash, they receive a voucher. And they can take that voucher and hand it to the cashier and get cash in exchange for the voucher. So the difference between the ATM and the RTM is that exchange of the, ca the voucher for cash. So that's one big now, difference. Tom now tell me why on earth you would launch a product like this? What made you decide to go down this path? Well, it's not a replacement for ATMs. The idea is that uh, banks have branches everywhere it makes sense to have branches. Banks have ATMs everywhere it makes sense to have ATMs. So we're not trying to displace either branches or ATMs. We're trying to complement a bank network. So the idea of an RTM is to be able to, uh, for a bank to place these RTMs everywhere that they don't economically make sense to put ATMs today. So their reach can be greater in more communities and more locations. And they're putting these RTMs in place where people need the cash, which is, which is in the shops and in the merchant locations and so forth. So instead of going to an ATM, withdrawing cash and going to a store, you go to the store, go to the merchant location, do your transaction there, get a voucher, do your shopping and exchange the voucher uh, for cash at the uh, end of the transaction. So it's a complement to, it's not a replacement of. I suppose that the, the question I'm asking here is, what made you go down the road to develop a product like this? Are you seeing demand at all from, from the banks or from merchants to have this kind of facility? It's actually a bank idea. The, the origin of the idea was from banks in countries where it was very, very difficult to reach the non-urban population. So putting an ATM in remote locations or putting a branch in remote locations that were hard to reach was uh, just not economically feasible. So the idea was they wanted to be able to do something to touch the consumers and to, to deliver banking services to those remote areas, but they didn't uh, think that uh, they could ju cost justify a branch or an ATM, so we needed a different idea. So the different idea was to do banking services through an RTM, secure uh, online services through the RTM, but use the cash that's already in circulation at the merchant locations to be able to deliver it to the bank customers. And these particular RTMs, as you've called them, there's no cash inside the machine, I'm assuming. So there's a potential benefit there for the banks in that they don't have to maintain that machine. Well, that's exactly right. It's much less expensive to operate. We think it's about one-tenth the total cost of uh, uh, ownership to operate RTMs compared to ATMs. So we think that in low volume locations where it just doesn't make sense to have an ATM, the banks can have RTMs and so their presence will be uh, felt really in more locations. They can deliver their message, their branding, they can del deliver their transaction services uh, in, in a far greater geographic area than they can today. Now we've talked about banks, but what about end customers? Because I know that when I go to an ATM there's usually a a long line that I have to put up with and now what I'm hearing is I've got to queue up at the at the RTM and then again I've got to queue up at the store counter to get the cash out I would find that very frustrating. Yeah, well, the, the scenario for the RTM really is in lower volume locations. So if there is a RTM in a location where there's queues for the RTM, the bank could, should consider putting an ATM there and, and be able to service the customers with ATM. So uh, the, the idea of the RTM really is in lower volume locations, so we don't think that's an issue. The consumers that we've talked to really love these RTMs because instead of having to go to a, a bank to get my cash or to, a, to an ATM and get my cash and then go shopping. Instead, if, uh, th there's a convenience factor of being able just to go to the shop 
get my cash while I'm there and while I'm shopping. So the consumers also have said to us, identified something which we didn't think of, uh, I guess, initially, which is the safety factor. People um, uh, really enjoy the safety of going into a shop, getting their money in the shop, and not doing it necessarily on you know, the avenues or streets, which are very busy, and a lot of people are watching you get your cash. So there is a safety element to it as well. That, that's a good point. What about now um, things like transaction fees? There's a lot of discussion here in Australia about uh, how much we're charged for ATM fees. What kind of fees are you going to charge for using an RTM? Well, an RTM, again, is bank-owned. So a bank is placing this in the merchant locations. And so for the banks, again, they're reaching more customers in those locations. There's, there wouldn't be a charge, just like a, a on-us customer using a bank ATM. There's not a charge for that. There wouldn't be a charge for this as well. Now, these devices could be shared like ATMs. So there's a, an arrangement, perhaps, to, to be a minimal charge for a non-on-us customer, somebody other than the bank owner using the, uh, uh, or the RTM owner using the, uh, using the RTM, but there should be very minimal charges. There will be no charges for the bank customers to use this. And uh, Steve, I've gone to an ATM before and, and withdrawn a large amount of money. I won't say how much, maybe $500. Is that going to put an onus on store owners then to have large amounts of cash in the till? Well, store owners can limit the amount of cash that they, that they dispense through these. So it's a configurable kind of thing. They, uh, uh, they can limit it to, to lower amounts if they want to. With an RTM also, you can withdraw an exact amount. So if I need $12.95, I can go to the RTM and do a $12.95 withdrawal, get a voucher for that, and, uh, and, and redeem that. So there's a lot more flexibility there. Uh, if you need $500 cash, you should go to the bank branch or go to an ATM. I hear a lot about the move towards a cashless economy, near-field communications, um, digital payments. How long realistically do you think ATMs and RTMs are going to be around? Is this, not, this is not a long-term business idea, is it? Uh, I, I hate to disagree with you on that, but uh, I think it is because when you look at uh, cash and circulation studies, Cash isn't going away. You know, as much as we try to replace cash and as much as we have different pay, payment vehicles, it's just not replacing cash. So cash in circulation in every study that we've seen for the past five years is increasing, not decreasing. So as much as we try to get rid of it, uh, it's not going away. People want cash. They like cash. They like being able to take $200 out on Friday and saying, I want to budget my money for the next week. I have $200 to spend and they can see it. Uh, it's easier to budget in that way than it might be with some electronic means. So some people will always use cash. Not me, maybe not you. I would definitely you. have to agree with you so, about uh, being easier to budget. Very quickly, Steve, when are these going to be available in Australia, you think? They will be available, we're planning, by year-end this year. By year-end. Okay, fantastic. Thank you very much for your time today. You're very welcome.